boys and girls, children of all ages. We have been entrusted to show you the handiest and the dandiest tool you've ever seen. It fries, it dices, it juliennes, it cooks, it cleans, it'll even do your taxes. <laughs> Actually, that's all incorrect. We're just going to tell you about some stuff as we ramble on about absolutely eh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> The door right now. <laughs> That's so, what you get for making jokes. As you open this up, uh, as you can see, the magnets are really, really good because they hold it. But you can see this is front facing right now. It runs an accordion style going through the front. It doesn't really work for what we want to do. We'd rather go lengthwise. So, well, what do you want? It's in the box, man. <laughs> get in the chopper! Dum -dum. <laughs> All right, so what's happening, guys? Uh, I'm Hank. She's Robin. We ramble a lot. That's why we have the website Rambling Rimkus, and together we are Living Life's Journey, and it's Rimkus Ramblings. <laughs> so, with all that stuff we said, as you can tell, it's been an interesting, interesting day. But let's keep it real. Uh, <sighs> you know, as we look at all the stuff that goes on, this is RV lifestyle. You're in cramped places. Sometimes stuff doesn't work out really well, and sometimes people just want you to <laughs> go crazy. So, but all that being said. Today we got some projects to make, so we're going to do Lots a little fixer up for, um, if you guys watched our video last week, we talked about all the engineering suggestions. So we're going to take care of one of those engineering suggestions this week in the fact that we're going to make sure that this closet with the holy crap magnets on the front doors, <laughs> they work. we're going to fix <laughs> these right here. So again, this sits going this way, we want it to go this way. Yeah. So what we're going to do is take all of this out, take Not these bars out, space. there's three of them across there, put a crossbar in, lower some stuff down so we can fit everything else in. And then uh, set everything back in. So that's going to be the plan for today. Yeah, as you can see, this wasn't a very good setup. Um, there's no room. There's no room for clothes. Um, and he has a lot of it. So we need to redo this. Yeah, you have a lot of clothes. Uh, I had no clothes. I need more clothes. So that means I have to have more room for my clothes. See, this gives me a reason to go shopping. That's good. Oh, So, here we are. So as you see, you open this up, and boom, we trigger the motion light. Now we got the crossbar, we got dirty laundry, we got some other stuff there. 
I got some more stuff over here. Got some more stuff over here. And it fits. And he still has more clothes in it. And um, you know what they say? If it fits, it ships. Uh huh. Oh, one little side note. We did notice that um, with the now that we're doing this way, that a weight is going to bring down the bar, and so with this little doohickey. These were the original bars that we had going lengthwise uh, or widthwise. There was three of them, so we took one of the three and we made we made it sit like support. this this way to support the bar off the original braces that were inside there. Improvise, overcome, adapt, and use what you got left over for parts when you're in RV. Why? Because you don't want to put more crap into some place that you got to haul. Ounces equal pounds, pounds equal tons, tons equals no fun, I'm not going nowhere. So with that being said, now we have more space to utilize in our and it cleared up. I now have a dedicated side for uh, the cleaning area, um, also to park hamper ish for our laundry section so I'm not trying to find a place and lodge podge stuff together so clean clothes dirty clothes to clean the clothes so it kind of all not it goes together so it very simple wasn't that expensive to do and use what you have it makes it work so thanks to my hubby you guys take care of each other one and another see you guys later be good Bye. be safe be gone bye, bye.